Hey guys, Dr. Zach here, Chief Endemologist here at Thanksgiving Point. Today we've got another awesome unboxing video and today we're unboxing phasmids. Phasmids are things like walking sticks. You've probably heard of those. They're the undisputed masters of camouflage. They look just like sticks, but phasmids also includes things like leaf insects and some of the stick insects, they don't look much like just a regular old stick. They're like covered in weird little tendrils. They look like mossy vines and things like that. Phasmids are unbelievably amazing. They just have excellent, excellent camouflage. We have a couple of really cool species of phasmids and then plus we have an extra special double bonus, really cool phasmids that I cannot wait to tell you about at the end. Let's see what we got. So this here, is a really cool, oh, she's a little baby. This is called a jungle nymph. This is a type of phasmid that comes from Malaysia. Now, if you remember back to one of the first videos that we did, we unboxed some of the eggs of this critter. Those eggs have hatched and we're getting more insects in the mail. And this is an any bitty little juvenile jungle nymph. Now, when she grows up, she's gonna be one of the biggest insects on the planet, one of the heaviest insects. She's gonna be about that big if she's a female. And the females have these itsy bitsy tiny little wings. They can't even fly. But if this insect ends up being a male, they are smaller, they're brown, and they have long wings and they actually can fly. So if you're a jungle nymph, you're a pretty big bodied juicy insect. You don't wanna get eaten by other things. So you've gotta have a good mechanism of defense. Like most phasmids, their primary method of defense is camouflage. They just don't wanna be seen. And uh, for the most part, they're nocturnal. They only get active at nighttime and that's when they walk around and, uh, and they start eating stuff. It's actually really unique to see that this little uh, friend is walking around so much during the daytime. Typically, they just spend all day playing dead. Oftentimes, if you look in their enclosures and you wanna make sure they're doing all right, they're just hanging there like, oh, I hope they're fine. And you come back later that day and they're walking around all over the place and gobbling up plants. So these insects come from Malaysia, thick, tropical, dense forests, and they're in there where there's tons of foliage and they can use that camouflage. And what's pretty cool is that they can actually eat a lot of different types of plants. We feed ours blackberry, bramble, and oak, and, and other types of plants like that, but they actually have a pretty wide variety of plants that they can eat. Now, unlike some phasmids, there are males and females of these species, and they reproduce with the boys and the girls, and the girls will lay these massive eggs that can take over a year to hatch. But some phasmids are really cool in that we've only ever seen females. And as far as we know, it's a completely female species. Those ones reproduce asexually, super weird. Next, we are gonna pull out one of the coolest, you guys, you guys, this is so awesome. Come here. This is called a leaf insect. And they are just unbelievably cool. Phasmids are like the coolest animals on the planet. And man, the leaf insects really are the coolest of the phasmids. Look at that, man, it looks just like a leaf. So this is a type of leaf insect. These come from Southeast Asia um, and they all look pretty similar except they come in different sizes. This is just a medium sized one. This is actually not even an adult so she'll get bigger than this. Um, but even when she grows up, she will be mid-sized. The really big ones, the gigantic ones, they'll grow about that big once they're growing up. Crazy, crazy cool insects. So these insects, they look like leaves and where do you find leaves? Up of the forest canopy. So you're gonna find these guys up at the tippy top of the forest. They climb up and up and up and up. In fact, when we wanna feed these guys in their enclosure, we have to make sure that their leaf is all the way at the top of the enclosure and there's actually leaves touching the ceiling. And that way they go up as far as they can, they find what they wanna eat and they just gobble it up. They're gonna spend all day long trying to look like leaves. So like many other insects, the males and the females look completely different from each other. That's called sexual dimorphism. And the difference with these guys is huge. This is a female. You can see she's got a really wide, flat body and look at those antennae. See, they're teeny, teeny, tiny, right? If this was a male, it would actually look more like one of the assassin bugs. Go back to some of the other videos. See if you can find an example of those. They have kind of an hourglass-like shape. They have wings that cover their back and their antennae are comically long, like two inches long on an insect this size. So the males and the females, they mate and then the females will just drop her eggs right down into the soil. They look like seeds of a plant. Honestly, if you found one, you would probably think it's a seed. You would never realize it was the eggs of some crazy cool insect like this. They could take a few months to hatch and once they do hatch, they go through incomplete metamorphosis, meaning that the juveniles basically just look like tiny wingless versions of the adults. So it look kind of like this, itsy bitsy teeny tiny, keep eating and molting and growing until you have a full sized insect. Okay guys, I am super, super excited to show you this next one. This is another species of phasmid, but it's really, really cool because this is a phasmid that you may be able to find in your own backyard right here around Salt Lake City. So this is a Western shorthorned walking stick. It's a native species to our area, but here's what's crazy cool. I found this in my backyard and when I did, I took a photo of it, I sent it to a friend and I thought, holy cow, dude, I had no idea we had walking sticks in Salt Lake. And she said, oh my gosh, we haven't had a record of one of those in over 80 years. This is a very cool native rare insect. 
So like most species of phasmids, uh, the primary method of defense for this guy is just camouflage. They look like sticks. They're about that big when they're full grown. They're not huge and they just sit still most of the day. They mostly only walk around at night. You just never even see them. The eggs of these guys, they look just like grass seeds. They're about brown and they're about that big. You'd never even notice them. But, you know, we collected a whole bunch of them and now we have all these little babies. Super cool. All right, guys, that's about all the time we have today. We have seen crazy phasmids from Malaysia, from Southeast Asia, even from my own backyard here in Utah. Super, super cool insects. If you like the video, please do me a favor, like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe so that as many awesome people can learn about these awesome, awesome insects too. And if you got the gears turning, you've got questions, leave them in the comments down below or better yet, just show up in person so we can show you these amazing animals here in person at the Butterfly Biosphere. Thanks.